Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question two for the POA paper two from May 2018. If you want to see the solutions for the rest of the paper, I'm going to put a card up there with a link to the playlist and a link in the description below. And with that said, let's get into the question. All right, so let's take a read. So it says here, right, Sabrina Weeks, a retailer, had her financial statements for the years 2016 and 2017 analyzed and the following two ratios were produced for her business. Okay, so ratios. So we have 2016 and 2017. We have gross profit margin, 20% and 24%. And then we have operating expenses to sales revenue. Okay, so that is also, that you could also call that the operating expense margin. Right, so 9% to 11%. So both of these ratios in, in, increased between 2016 and 2017. So it says for each of the two ratios given above, we have to state the formula needed to arrive at the figure, comment on the business's performance at 31st December 2017, explain whether it is a strength or a weakness. Okay, so let's just take a little look down here. Uh, so for the gross profit margin, it's five marks for that, and same thing for the OPEX margin. All right, so <clears throat> let's, let's, let's begin. So the gross profit margin, its formula is gross profit margin is gross profit over net sales multiplied by 100 over one. Now, what is it? So that's state the formula. Comment on the business performance, explain whether the strength. Okay, so the business's gross profit margin, it increased. So go simple, right? It increased between 2016 and 2017 from 20% to 24%, as we could see from the table. Right, um, so this is a strength. So it says explain whether this is a strength or a weakness. It's a strength as it means the business is making more gross profit for each dollar of sales revenue in 2017 than 2016. Right, so yes, that's, that's what it means. If you put your gross profit as a percentage of your net sales, you're seeing what percentage of your net sales you get as gross profit. What percentage remains after covering your cost of sales. Right? Because remember, to get from net sales to gross profit, your cost of sales is subtracted from your net sales. So in 2016, your cost of sales or cost of goods sold, as some of you all prefer, right, was 80%. Because if you take 80% from your net sales, you get you're left with 20%. But in 2017, it looks like it's closer to 75 or well, 76% to be exact, right? So it means that our cost of goods sold is maybe going down as a proportion of our net sales. So that means we're making more profit, long story short, which, which is a strength, right? Uh, I'm not entirely sure why that is five marks, but okay, cool. If they want to give you marks, give you marks. Uh, next is the operating expense uh, as a percentage of sales revenue. So I, again, I call that the OPEX margin or the operating expense margin. Let, let's scroll up a little bit. Right, so operating expense margin is operating expenses divided by net sales by 100. So, um, as the formula, comment on the business's performance. So, the business's operating expense margin increased between 2016 and 2017 from 9% to 11%. So, again, we're just stating the obvious. We're stating what happened, right? Now, explain whether it is a strength or a weakness. So, if your expenses are increasing as a percentage of your sales, it means you are incurring more expenses. And the more expenses you have, the less profit you're going to have afterwards. Because remember, after gross profit, you want to get the net profit. But between gross profit and net profit is expenses. So if now your expenses, they were 9%, but they're now 10, 11%, it means that your profit is shrinking. So that's a weakness. Okay. Let's scroll down and see what else they're asking us to do. Right? So it says, um, using any one of your analyses, of the ratios, make one recommendation to Sabrina Weeks for improving her business's performance, two marks. Okay, so I commented on both just in case you wanted to know how to improve either one, right? So let me scroll up um, on, on the right-hand side here. Okay, so regarding the gross profit margin increasing, so to improve the business's performance with the gross margin, it needs to increase, right? Think about it, gross margin is a measure of gross profit. It's gross profit as a percentage of sales. You would like that percentage to be higher rather than lower. For it to be higher, it's either you make more revenue or you reduce your costs, right? So as, as it says, I continue to look for ways to improve, such as reducing cost of goods sold, for example, switching suppliers or buying in bulk to, to get a better price, right? You don't have to go overly fancy. You could come up with, with different reasons. As a matter of fact, comment, any, if anybody has any different suggestions to that, comment in the, in the, in the comment section below. 
um, we could have a discussion. All right. Or if you disagree with my with my my recommendations, please feel free. Right. We are free to disagree. That's not a problem. And, and the, with the operating expense margin, right, for that increasing, so that's a problem. So we want it to decrease. So for it to decrease, look for ways to reduce costs, such as simple things, using energy saving devices to reduce electricity costs. I feel like this, um, or, or reducing bad debts, etc. right? So yeah, you have um, different suggestions for this, different things you could put. I mean, the sky's the limit. Your imagination's the limit, right? Okay. So that was two marks, so we, our next three marks, so, the, so far is about 15 marks we, we, we're going through. So it says, using the figure provided for sales in the table below and the ratios given on page seven, calculate the named amounts for the year 2017, show all working clearly. Okay, so we have a sales figure of almost a million, so 995,000. So they want gross profit and cost of sales. Okay, so that's actually pretty simple to do because uh, our gross margin for 2017 was 24%. And from what we saw above, the gross margin, right, is the gross profit expressed as the percentage of net sales. So all we're going to have to do is find 24% of net sales. So let's take a look there. So we're going to have our sales figure of 995. Gross profit is 24% of sales. So that's just calculated food. And then the last thing they wanted, hold on, let me go back down to that page. The last thing they wanted was cost of sales. So here, they've sort of rearranged your trading account. So normally it's sales minus cost of sales is gross profit. So if you, if you reverse those two, it'll be sales minus gross profit is cost of sales. Right? So we could just minus the 2388 from the 995. And we'll get 756, 200. Right? Or if you're thinking percentage-wise, if the gross profit is 24% of sales, Cost of goods sold or cost of sales, as they put it, is simply the remaining percentage, which is 76%. So you could double check that. If you have the calculator, find 76% of 995,000, and you should get 756,200. Same figure I have there. All right. Okay. Cool. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer questions. Okay, so it says um, the following information is also available for Sabrina Week's business for the year ended 31st December 2017. So we have inventory at Jan 1st, 2017. Inventory at the end, so opening and closing stock. What do they want? State the formula used to calculate the rate of inventory turnover. This is also called the rate of stock turn, rate of stock turnover. And that formula, uh, let me bring it up on this side here is cost of goods sold divided by average stock. So that's one mark, cost of goods sold divided by average stock. And it says here, um, finally, for how many marks? Four marks, right? So that's the remaining marks in the question. That's the last part of the question. Calculate your rate of stock turn. So we need cost of goods sold, which we just got, right? Um, let me scroll back up a little bit. Seven, right, 756, 200. So cost of goods sold divided by average stock. How do we find average stock? Open in stock plus close in stock divided by two. Easy. So, average stock, open in stock, plus close in stock, divided by 2, gives us average stock. And then we divide in 756,200 by 32,5, and we get approximately 23.27 times. So, what this ratio tells us is how many times during the year we sold on our average stock. Okay. All right, ladies and gents, that's about it for this question. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see any more videos or playlists, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my, my website for free POA handles. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.